Welcome back to MTP. Welcome back, Eamon. Eamon, this will be Route 2. Yeah. We're going to head to Harrow on the Hill, go see the posh school. Yeah. We're going to start your mock test, like yeah. a real mock test, yeah. with a tell me question. Nothing too tough, yeah. just a tell me question. Yeah. Would you be able to tell us about the power steering? How would we check to see if it's working? Uh, when the when the steering is off, the steering is heavier, and when the steering is on, the steering is light. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Yeah. Right, we're going to get started. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, exit either on the right or left, and then follow the sat-nav, independent driving. Okay. Well, let's go. So just at the exit, same as before, we'll just be turning right. And then the sat now should give you directions. Alright, thank you. Off to a good start. Thank you. Nice peep and creep, or lean and look as I like to call it. Yeah. Nice right mirror check for moving out right around this oddly... After 300 yards, turn left, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Thank you. Now, if you are new to MTP, we will go over the results at the end. So there won't be any live, oh, this is happening, that's happening, etc. I will give feedback for all good things, like the right mirror check just now as we went right around the parked vehicle. Um, but I won't be stating any serious or minor driver faults until the end. So if you're interested to find Turn out left, the results, A4090, skip to the end. Witten Avenue East. If not, you're welcome to join us on the whole journey. And if you do, just type, made it to the end in the comments. It'd be nice to know how many of you follow us the whole way. All right. After 300 yards, turn right, A4127, Greenford Road. The camera doesn't like me. I'm gonna have to look into that. Keep switching off. It's all right. We got a backup camera, so we're all good. Yeah. On this traffic nuts. Yes. Welcome back. Yeah. Been here a few times before. Yeah. Okay, when it's safe, 
I'd like you to show us how we would wash the rear windscreen. Right, we can come back to that a bit yeah. later. Okay. Yeah. It has the thing. It says rear there, but I was a bit confused. Mm -hmm. We'll have a good look at that later. I'll get you to park up somewhere where it's safe, yeah. and we can relocate the switch. Okay. Something that you can do on test as well, so for any of our viewers, you are allowed to ask the examiner if it's okay to pull over to the left, if you're feeling any discomfort, you just want a little break, or maybe you want to reacquaint yourself with a switch. Absolutely fine. Okay, why are we driving all the way in the motorbike there? That was a bit scary. Yeah. What happened there? I went a bit too thick. But what was the reason? Looked in my mirror. I thing. thought so, yeah. So usually if we look somewhere longer than a second, the vehicle will start to lose its path in the road. So just a glance After 200 back on the road. Yards, turn okay. left. A4005, Sangre Hill. All right, so the signs will say have on the hill. I'll just mention the signs as we go. As you're aware, 20% of tests will be using signs. Turn left. And 80% of tests will have the sat nav. Welcome to MTP, where we are joined by chat here in the background. So we're live streaming via a platform which I won't mention, I think yeah. we all know. Yeah. And we've got the back window wiper going off as well. <laughs> I should have. Uh, it's all right, yeah. we're going to pull up in a moment. Don't worry about that for now, just drive as normal. And it's still cool. It's all right, don't worry about it. I've had students go the whole test with the window wipers going, all the windows open, you know, yeah. it's raining, all that stuff. Yeah. And examiners don't seem to mind, okay? Yeah. Just one of those things that happen. Okay, so if we have a look on the left, I'd like you to pull over in a convenient place on the left. Remember, you got the cheat code, so you can always activate the camera via the camera button on the right stick. Yeah. Um, I prefer the second screen, which is the split screen. It just gives us more detail of where the left tire is. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's have a look at the window wipers. So the front window wipers, up is off, down is on. So we can sort of have a look at turning the front window wiper off at the moment. Lovely. And then for the rear window, it's a twist. So you see, I'm twisting to off. Yeah. If you twist the right stick to the same position, so that's the opposite way, so just see how I'm twisting. Yeah, that's it. And as you twist, that squirts water out the back and washes the rear window. So if you want to try it again, just have a little feel. You can see it squirting the water and wiping. Yeah. It yeah. automatically stops as well. Okay, so in a moment, I'll ask you to drive on. We'll continue to follow the sat nav for now. Yeah. And then at some point, I'll ask you to do the show me question again. Okay. Are you happy with the switch? Yeah. Cool. All right, take your time. Unless you have any questions, drive on when you're ready. <laughs> automatic handbrakes will automatically turn off when you apply the accelerator as well. So yeah. you can turn it off manually or yeah. just accelerate and the car will go. Yeah, it looked like it was allowing you to go, so that was quite a confident and safe decision. Well yeah. done. Okay, 
and not wasting any time. Once you've seen that, you apply the accelerator and off we go. That's that's what the examiners want to see. Yeah. And again, he had a double blind spot check, you know? So yeah. you made your decision, you looked, saw what was happening, had a double check, and yeah. then you're off. So I'll just highlight that there will be a sign coming up for Harrow on the hill. After 200 yards, turn right, London Road. And I'll just like to follow the signs I have on the hill. Turn right. Excellent mirrors and signals, perfect positioning, very early, which is safe. Well done. Good observations. Welcome to Harrow on the Hill. Nice mirror check on the right there again. Those mirror checks, very nice. Good moving out early as well, that allows you to get a safer position from the park vehicles. Once you've passed the giveaway line, yeah, I had to give one. It's a point of no return. Yeah, so it's like a roundabout. Once we go out over that line on the roundabout, yeah, don't look back, commit, keep going. When it's safe, I'd like you to show us how you would wash the rear window. Super, thank you very much. I'm just gonna tick off that we've completed the show me, tell me questions. Yeah. Very nice. After 200 yards, turn right, A404, Kenton Road. Turn right. Just had to stop us there because we had an oncoming vehicle. Yeah.
after 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A404, Watford Road. This is the second biggest roundabout at Greenford Test Centre. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Nice early positioning. Take the exit, A404, Watford Road. Not to worry, we have gone a different After direction. After 200 yards, turn map. left, then turn around when possible. I'll give you the directions from now on. Okay. So just for now, follow the road ahead, and I'll let you know when to turn left or right. Turn left, then turn around when possible. Turn around when possible, then at the end of the road, turn right. Turn right, Kenton Avenue, then turn around when possible. Should I go straight? I do whatever's the safest thing to do. Okay. Remember the driving test is all just about safety, yeah. not really direction. Turn right, Peterborough Road, then turn around when possible. Turn around when possible, then turn left. for following the road. You saw the road markings? Yeah. Seemed like you had a Turn little bit of when possible, then take the second left. So we're just going to continue to follow the road in the other side now. After 100 yards, turn right, A409, Shavecote Road, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Lovely, nice mirror signal. Good timing as well, roughly about five car lengths on the Thank junction. Uh, we had a few late signals on our first test, didn't we? So yeah. Well done for progressing on your timing. Okay, now what I'm going to ask you to do is just follow the sat nav from now on. Okay. It's going to take us back to that second biggest roundabout to Greenford. Okay. It's the Northwick Park roundabout, just in case anyone's wondering what the name of the roundabout is. Okay. The Northwick Park roundabout. Okay. okay, so again, just following the sat nav for me, please. Thank you.
turn right, A409, Shaykh Road, then, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A404, Watford Road. After 100 yards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. The road markings will say Wembley. Exit A404 Watford Road. Oh, we went a different way again. Yeah. Okay. So it was that way. Yeah. It was this After side of the road. Turn Wembley. left, yeah. then turn around when possible. Not a sat nav. Would you signal left for me? There's a car park just on the left where the white car is coming out. Yeah. I'd just like you to turn into the car park. Turn next left, the then left. turn around when possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you. If you just take us into the middle aisle, turn around just when possible. The right. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. Thank you. There's a number of bays. Any bay, I'd like you to drive forwards into one of the bays. So this will be the manoeuvre. Just because the examiners might ask this question, yeah. are you finished? Yeah. Okay, just open your door, have a look out the door to triple check. Let's see where the line is on the right. Uh, and do you feel like we're inside the lines? Uh, yeah. Well, we I are? Need, I need to go a bit. Reverse a bit. But, okay. Yeah. You did say you were finished. So uh, now I'm going to ask you to leave the car park for me, please. Yeah. All right, so when yeah. you're ready... Just reverse out to the right side for me. In fact, you know what? Let's be a bit cheeky. Sometimes examiners will ask you to do this as well. Just to save time. Would you drive forwards over the bays? Just take us back to the exit and then follow the sat nav again for me, please. So the tip is when the examiner asks you if you're finished, yeah. open the door first, check, yeah. then answer the question, okay? Oh. All right, when you're ready, exit the car park and follow the sat nav, please. So 
we're just going to drive forward. Oh, it's, it's all right. Yeah. If you want to go the long way round, we have to follow the arrows though, because this is a one way. Actually, so I just go forward then. Sure, it yeah. just might yeah. be a little bit easier. Yeah. Only if the examiners mm -hmm. ask us though, okay? Yeah. At the end of the road, turn left, A404, Kenton Road, then, at the end of the road, turn right. Hey, we'll just do the independent driving again, so following the sat nav, fine please. Turn right, then, go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit. Okay, the sign will say Wembley, the road markings will say Wembley, and the sat nav will tell us it's the third exit. Yeah. Turning right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A404 Watford Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. How many car lengths would you say we are from the junction? Uh, One, two, three. Five. About four, five? Yeah, or four, yeah. Okay. Um, remember the timing for the signal? Yeah. Any questions about the Norfolk Park roundabout before we have a look again? Uh, no. Okay, cool. Good luck. Exit A404 Watford Road. Take the exit, A404, Watford Road. Continue to follow the sat nav straight ahead through the roadworks. And 
during the roadworks, <clears throat> there most likely be signs saying use the bus lane. Yeah. But for roadworks, we can use the bus lane just in case. See that in the future. So we've just got about 10 minutes to go. We'll be back at the test centre. Yeah. So we're probably about three quarters of the way through the test, not long. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, very well. Yeah? Yeah. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A404 Watford Road. the roundabout and take the second exit, A404 Watford Road. After 500 yards, keep right. After 300 yards, keep right. Keep right. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A404, A405, Harrow Road. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A404, A405, Harrow Road. Welcome to Sudbury. Let's 
mirror checks your merge. Well done. Always busy here at Sudbury. Yeah. That roundabout is a quite tricky one actually because that traffic from the right it just keeps coming. Yeah. So remember how we were talking about the observations? Yeah. So if the traffic just keeps coming, it can be quite tricky to find an opportunity to go. All right. Yeah. You did pretty decent there though. Thank you. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4005 Bridgewater Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 500 yards, turn right, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Flashing yellow light, uh, proceed with caution. No one using the crossing. Yeah, we can go. After three hundred yards, turn right, A forty ninety, Witten Avenue East. Less than five minutes, we're back. Yeah. And then we're resting. All right, you've done yeah. very well today. Just stay focused for five more minutes, please. Yeah. Turn right, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Had to stop you because the motorbike was yeah. oncoming. Crossroads, turning right, or just turning right in general. Yeah. We do not have priority, so we must stop and wait. Yeah. For oncoming traffic. Okay. Beep your horn. Okay. Yeah. Just to let that traffic know that we're here. Yeah. The examiners would encourage beeping the horn when drivers are reversing out of driveways. Okay. Just to alert them. Yeah. It's good use of them. to drive at 20 miles an hour yeah from what people tell me yeah what speed are we doing 22 okay and the speed limit for this road would be 20 okay so would you agree with the people that say it's difficult to drive at 20 uh no that i should uh 24 is all right well, well 24 is good for a 20 road 
uh, no, no, 20 is good, but like you have until 24 to be. If it's more than 24, it's a, a bitch. Okay, so if there's a policeman here right now, after 200 yards, go left them, on the yeah. roundabout and say? take the first exit, yeah, Rosewood yeah. Avenue, then yeah. turn right. Uh, speed. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. After 100 yards, turn right, Robin Hood Way, then you have reached your destination. We're about to crash into the yeah. vehicle here, so I just had to put the brake on to stop us. Yeah. I don't think we're going to make this because we're way too close to the car. Should, uh, Let's reverse a little bit just to be safe. Just straighten the wheels. Yeah, just so uh, reverse back in a straight line because we've got the vehicle on our right. <clears throat> no, we'll see. It's a little close, but uh, steer a full lock to the right for me. We've got a nice magic car here, so we might be okay. Full lock all the way. Here we go. You can see there's quite a big gap now between the orange line and the car, so yeah. if it's safe. Just slowly edge forwards. Lovely. And then we'll just follow the road. Should I stop here? Uh, switch your camera to the cheat code. Got more information. Can yeah. you see how close that paint is to that paint? So I need to. Yeah, you need a little bit more. Look how much room we got here compared to here. Yeah? So, look, just have a look. If your mirror was there, we don't have a mirror. Yeah. It would hit that mirror, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, you see how much room we got here? So, I need to. Just, yeah, try and make it balanced so we've got equal distance on both sides. Yeah, I know we don't have a mirror. Yeah. However, the examiners will still take that into account. Okay. Turn right, Robin Hood Way, then you have reached your destination. And we're back. Yeah. Greenford Test Centre. I'm just going to follow the road down to the end. After 90 yards, you have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Robin Hood Way. So just put the brake on again here, because yeah. if we didn't, we would be in that section there, yeah. and the vehicle wouldn't get through. Okay. Okay. So meeting situations, less space, less speed. Okay. When you're ready, you're safe. Drive on. I'd like you to pull over just before the four x four vehicle near the tiny tree where that little person is standing. You can there. That's so close. So just be careful of the left. We're always getting a little bit close at the moment. Okay. 
give yourself some breathing space from the left. Yeah, it's very hard to judge as it's further away from the driver's side. Yep. Okay, that is the end of the test. So if you would just do me a cheesy quaver yeah. and push the power button and we'll unplug. Thank you very much. All right, now it is a tradition around here yeah. at the end of the test to ask you, how do you feel it went? Uh, I feel like it hasn't gone that great because I, when I went to the dual carriageway, uh, I got a bit confused. So I went in the same lane twice. I came to the same lane twice. Okay, the yeah. roundabout, is that what you mean? Or? The Yeah, yeah, the roundabout. Yeah, yeah. okay. All I right. came to the same lane twice when it said the Wembley. So I yeah. got confused and I went the same lane. Okay. But after that, uh, I realised where I got wrong. Okay, yeah. Um, so the, the, the road markings from Wembley could be quite yeah. useful then. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, road markings and signs for big roundabouts especially yeah. can really help us to sort of know what lane to use, etc. Okay, anything yeah. else? Uh, when you stopped uh, right now for the, for the driver, the Mercedes one that came. Yeah, so we had a couple of meeting situations today. We had one on yeah. the first test where I had to stop us. Yeah. Just here at the end there, we get, just had to put the brakes on. Just because we're going a little bit too far forwards, yeah. which means that there might not be enough space for the oncoming traffic to get through. Yeah. So if we do have a meeting situation, yeah. best tip I can give, like less space, less speed, and just stop early. Okay. Give plenty of room for ourselves to yeah. move out if we need to move out, you know, if we stop behind a parked car. Or if we just stop in the middle of the road, which is absolutely fine as well, there's yeah. enough room for that traffic that's oncoming just to get through and continue to drive past us. Okay. Yeah. All right. Shall we go into the results? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, unfortunately... We haven't been successful on this one. Yeah. Uh, there are a few serious faults. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yeah. in total. Um, it's quite high. Yeah. So we did the reverse, uh, sorry, the forwards bay park. Yeah. We weren't inside the lines. Yeah. So serious for this one. And uh, we talked about the meeting situation back there. There was yeah. another one with a parked car where I had to stop us because we were a little bit too close to the left. Yeah. All right, so do watch that left side. Give yourself a little bit of breathing space. It's yeah. a lot harder to judge. Yeah. I'm guilty of this, and a lot of people, when we're learning to drive, yeah. it's harder to see. It's further away. We usually get a little bit too close, and we're not really aware of it, you know, because yeah. it's there. Yeah. And we're looking out over here at the oncoming traffic, so it could distract us from the left. Yeah. So just try to scan both sides, less space, less speed. Uh, yeah. We did a couple of right turns. Um, just remember the walkout rule. So yeah. we are driving, turning right at the crossroads or just turning right in general. And there was a motorbike and an oncoming car at a couple of so these I'll junctions. Correct. Yeah. They have priority. So I had to put the brake on there and stop us. Yeah. Uh, the meeting situation we already talked about. The Northwick Park roundabout. Um, yeah. Hear the beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Blind spot beeps. One hour so, close to the other thing. Correct. So yeah. as you actually exited, I think yeah. that's a word, on the roundabout, the beep, beep, beeps coming up. And yeah. That's alerting us that there's a vehicle in the blind spot. Yeah. So it'd be safer to use the right lane to exit the roundabout rather than cross crossing into that vehicle that's in the blind spot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, the warning chimes can be helpful. Uh, just checking the mirrors, obviously, if we don't have that technology on the car. Yeah. Um, and then there was a lane discipline serious driver fault and a speed um, driver fault as well. We talked yeah. about the speed. It went too, up to twenty seven. I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying anything, yeah. but yes, we got to watch the speed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any questions for me? Uh, no. No. Right. Yeah. I think that just leaves me to say thank you to chat. Thank you to yeah. you. Yeah. Chat, I was going to run another competition to decide the winner, but we'll carry that on to the next mock test where we'll yeah. be back with Eamon and a different test center. Yeah. So if you guys like content like this, you know what to do. Until next time, stay safe. And bye-bye. Bye, chat.